Hi everyone, I'm retired meteorologist Pat Prokop and today is Saturday, January 6th. We had rain this morning falling across the region. That has cleared out now and the sky has become partly cloudy to mostly sunny across most areas of southeastern Georgia and southern South Carolina. Let's take a look at the map right here. First of all, this is the rainfall map and this blue area here is about three quarters of an inch of rain across many locations uh, in interior portions of Georgia. Now the greener area, that's about an inch to an inch and a quarter up in and around the Sylvania area up in Scriven County. Also in the uh, Chatham County area, uh, the central portions of Chatham County from the center of Savannah eastward into the islands, about an inch to an inch and a half of rain falling here and across the river into Jasper County and Buford County, South Carolina, uh, in and around the uh, Bluffton area uh, and um, Hardyville area about an inch to an inch and a quarter there a little less on Hilton Head Island but still uh, nearly an inch of rain falling in that region now let's take a look at the uh, national weather picture right now and the front uh, that produced the rain is moving east of our area now and all the precipitation is moving up to the northeast where winter weather advisories are in effect I'm going to show you those uh, momentarily but there's the snow right now and the rain uh, associated with this storm system that's moving away from us but approaching the uh, New York City area and Boston Philadelphia those uh, metro uh, plexus there now let's take a look at the uh, uh, advisories first of all and uh, <laughs> There is a boatload of winter storm warnings in effect across the, uh, well, into the Appalachians and into the uh, upper portions of the uh, New York State into southern and central New England for about a one a half inch or one half foot to a foot of snow falling across those regions. And then another winter storm is brewing out in the southwest United States. And this is storm number one, and this is storm number two, but there are four storms lining up to advance into our region. Now this one over here, this is gonna be a doozy. This is gonna be a very strong storm. Actually number three, uh, which is out in the Pacific Ocean right now, that's gonna be pretty hefty as well. Let's take a look at the uh, jet stream because that kind of hints at what's going on in the mid and upper layers of the atmosphere. And you can see what's known as rivers of air. And these are the rivers of air. You can see them flowing uh, out in the central Pacific Ocean, north of Hawaii, and then heading up toward the Aleutians, then breaking back down. There's a wave right there moving in toward the uh, west and northwest portion of the United States. There's another wave over here in the southwest United States. And there's the wave that is just moved east of our area that's affecting the northeast portion of the country. Now, this is storm number one over here, storm number two going on right here, storm number three approaching the uh, uh, coast of the uh, uh, Pacific Northwest, and then uh, number four is way out here still in the Pacific Ocean. So let's take a look at the uh, uh, conditions right now across their area. Uh, and the region, the continental United States. And uh, most of the uh, precipitation has moved out of our area. As a matter of fact, we have a mix of sun and clouds right now, mostly sun, more sun than clouds uh, across the region. But there's the precipitation to the north. And there's that new storm developing across the northwest portion of the country. And then another one uh, forming, as I just showed you, out in the Pacific Ocean. So let's take a look at the uh, uh, forecast models here. This is the uh, position of the jet stream over the next uh, several days. And there it is right now. And as we advance forward, you can see it moves away from us, but it's this other wave that's forming right in this area here. This is for um, uh, early Monday morning, right after midnight, one o'clock in the morning, our time. And there you can see a sharp wave right here. And that's gonna be advancing eastward toward our region. And as it does, it's really gonna get hefty and, and potent. And there you can see uh, right now, it's, it's this is for the uh, Tuesday at one o'clock in the afternoon. And the axis of this trough is basically north to south. A little bit of a tilt to the uh, upper left and to the uh, lower right. That means it's what's called negative tilting. And when that happens, that's usually a strong precursor for severe weather. And there's a, a potential for severe thunderstorms and tornadoes across the Southeast United States on Tuesday, particularly uh, Monday for the uh, lower Mississippi Valley, and then Tuesday uh, for Georgia and South Carolina, Alabama, Georgia, Northern Florida, uh, north uh, uh, of us into South Carolina and North Carolina. There you can see, see, the tilt, the, the, the axis is tilted now 
uh, to the left. That's called negative tilt, and that's never a good thing when, it, when you're looking at for storm activity. Well, there's storm number two, and that's going to be a doozy. Storm number three, let's see, that's shaping up over here. There it is. You see it right there. That's storm number three, and that's going to be coming in on uh, Friday and Saturday of next week. And then look at here, there's storm number four forming right over here. So we're lined up with these big storms uh, developing and moving eastward uh, across the United States. Um, and basically the southern stream is the dominant stream factor. You can see the um, stream continues from the west, southwest in toward the northeast, keeping us under the influence of strong moisture uh, advection. Uh, or in other words, moisture flowing into the area for the next several days. As a matter of fact, the next two weeks, I'm going to show you that on the uh, uh, extended outlook, is calling for very wet conditions across uh, the southeast United States, including, uh, of course, the greater Savannah, Hilton Head area in Statesboro and Brunswick. Now, let's go over here and look at the forecast models. There's storm number one right there. Uh, it's moving away from us, but it's pushing uh, off to the northeast. There's the rain snow line right around Interstate 95, uh, uh, to the north of us into the uh, old uh, Maryland and um, uh, eastern Pennsylvania toward New York and, and New Jersey. And let's advance this into time. There you can see it rapidly moves away. Still snow falling behind it. Again, about uh, 6 inches to 12 inches in some of the higher elevations out there in the, in the Appalachians. Then the, this is storm number two. Look at this thing wind up. And one of the things I've been noticing with these storms, the rain snow line is progressing westward, not eastward, but westward as these storms continue to develop. This is going to be a rainmaker for where all that snow is falling now across the northeast United States. That's, this is going to be a, mostly a rainmaker for that. And that comp, uh, pound it with the melting snow and the heavy rains. Uh, that's going to produce potential flooding for them. But I'm more concerned about the southeast because right here, this is our area and uh, on... Um, Sunset on Tuesday, this line of hefty thunderstorms will be pushing eastward across our region. Notice a strong gradient of the uh, what's called the isobars right here. That means the winds are going to be very strong. And in advance of the system, they'll be very strong from the south-southwest uh, in advance of this system. And then this low-pressure system uh, by... Uh, uh, early Tuesday morning will be over uh, in the central portions of Missouri and then it moves off toward the northeast and really cranks up and then it brings in snow and uh, heavy snow across portions of Michigan, Chicago, Milwaukee looks like heavy snow falling across that region and snow all the way down into central and eastern Kentucky and even uh, touches the extreme northeast portions of Georgia. But over here in the northeast, that's rain. That's going to be a lot of rain on top of that as well. Very heavy rains for the northeast. That's storm number two. What about storm number three? Watch. There it is. Do you see how it picks up moisture from the Gulf of Mexico and just explodes? And look at that. That is blizzard conditions if this uh, forecast is right. And this is for... Um, sunrise on Saturday, very heavy snows across the uh, Ohio Valley uh, into the southern Great Lakes states, uh, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, Pennsylvania are going to be getting some very heavy snows, maybe all the way up into the Detroit, Michigan area and uh, uh, eastward into Ontario, Hamilton and Toronto, Ontario. Again, east of that system, though, it is rain. And this will be another storm system for our area. I don't think I'm going to see severe thunderstorms with that in the southeast, but still enough heavy rains. But look at the winds behind this system. They're very strong isobars, so another very windy conditions for, well, beginning late Friday afternoon, then all day Saturday, and then continuing blustery winds throughout the uh, Sunday morning, diminishing Sunday afternoon. That was storm number three. There it comes, storm number four. And this one is uh, looking to be moving into the area for the next week, the following week. Uh, Tuesday, January 16th, uh, more rain falling across our region. Um, mixed of rain and uh, freezing rain, sleet and snow across the central and northern Ohio River Valley, but all rain here in the southeast United States. And let's see if they could pick up North storm number five. Uh, that's, well, storm number four is it's kind of like dragging through, maybe almost being four and five. Uh, this is uh, on Wednesday at two, uh, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, a very hefty uh, amount of precipitation here in the southeast. And then I think there's another storm. That's not much of a storm there trying to brew, but uh, that we're going out here now 15 days in advance. That's too far away to worry about. But let's worry about the uh, close-up times. Uh, this is today, severe weather outlook, uh, mid-Atlantic coastal states. This is tomorrow, scattered activity across the uh, 
uh, southern portion of the United States, and this is for Monday, and this is across the uh, uh, upper northwest Gulf of Mexico. But I want to concern over here in day number four. Uh, I think I have it right here, and there it is. Day number four, that's Tuesday. Look at the threat for severe weather. This is four days in advance. The National Weather Service is predicting potential possibility of severe weather. Thunderstorms and tornadoes across a large portion of uh, central and northern Florida and the peninsula of, uh, I mean, the, uh, uh, the uh, panhandle of Florida into a good chunk of Georgia and South Carolina and southeastern North and eastern North Carolina. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. Uh, Tuesday it could be a very damaging weather day across the southeast United States. Here's the current radar uh, for the mid-Atlantic coastal states up in toward, uh, well, Philadelphia, New York, uh, New Jersey, Trenton uh, over there. Philadelphia getting a, a mix of rain and snow. You can see the rain snow line right along Interstate 95 right now. There's some freezing rain and sleet over there in uh, just south of Lancaster, southwest of Philadelphia. And that's all moving off to the northeast. Uh, and um, uh, New York City is going to get a mix of rain and snow. I don't know how much is going to accumulate because a lot of it's going to be rain. So the, it, it's right on the edge right there. Most of it's going to be further inland. Now, let's take a look at the extended forecast because this is, well, the, the short-term forecast, first of all, uh, we have fair to partly cloudy conditions for the remainder of Saturday. Sunday looks pretty good. Monday, increasing clouds there. Tuesday, very windy with the potential for uh, damaging storms. Uh, on Tuesday, mostly cloudy and windy with periods of moderate to heavy rains and possible severe thunderstorms and tornadoes. Total expected rainfall could be two to three inches on Tuesday, and winds could be gusting to 35 to 40 miles per hour outside of rain areas, uh, put, but could be much stronger in uh, thunderstorms. Uh, temperatures, those will be mild highs in the 70s. And then um, let's take a look at that six week weather outlook. It's not a forecast, it's an outlook. And this is the average for each week. Uh, for week number one, uh, precipitation expected to be much above the normal for this time of the year. Uh, this time of the year, uh, uh, about a three quarters of an inch of rain is normal for the entire week and a little bit more for the middle portions of January, but still above normal precipitation. And look at the temperatures above normal and above normal through January 20th. And then back to week number three, by the uh, middle to near end of January, back to normal weather conditions. Normal high is 64, normal or low, uh, normal high is 61, excuse me, normal low is 40. And then, uh, then go into the um, end of January, beginning of February, it looks like we're gonna cool down to below normal weather conditions. Uh, but still, temperatures normal for this time of the year, or that time of the year, uh, early February will be in the low to middle 60s and lows in the lower 40s. So, uh, it, yeah, it'll be cooling off, but it doesn't look like we'll have any frozen type of precipitation associated with these weather systems. Anyway, um, keep an eye on the weather. Let me bring up the map right now. There it is. Um, and uh, advisories right here. There it is. Keep an eye on the weather because it's going to be fast changing weather patterns for the next several days. And if you're having any flight conditions, flight plans, keep in mind, there's going to be a lot of backups at the airport with the, all these storms marching eastward across the country and the uh, severe weather conditions, uh, particularly on Tuesday and Wednesday across the country. It's going to be very rough across the eastern two thirds, just about of the country. So with that in mind, thanks for watching and uh, I'll keep posted uh, with more of these weather videos coming up uh, probably several days this week. So right here on my uh, Pat's Weather and Nature YouTube channel. Until then, see ya. Bye.